Hello, everyone. It's Jason Ostrip with Downtown Madison Inc. with another director's report discussing all the things that are happening downtown at, at DMI right now. Hope you're all doing well and most importantly, staying warm for this ever so long cold stretch, even being from Minnesota. This seems rather long. Hopefully it's going to be warm tomorrow, I hear. 15 degrees, probably going to wear shorts. It's that warm. Want to talk about the director's report. A lot, a lot happening at DMI right now. Hope you can check that in the link underneath the video right now talks about all of the work of the downtown group again, which is that public-private partnership working to create an equitable and vibrant downtown. Lots of things happening with the group, including on the economic development side, strong economic development analysis being put together by MGE and Vanderwall and Associates, work on pop-up shops uh, with the group, uh, with the Black and Latino chambers and the BID and many other members try to fill some of those unfortunate vacancies we have right now, but could be an opportunity to bring new businesses downtown and office tenant survey to find out when people are coming back to their offices, hopefully when COVID is more in balance at the later in the year. And importantly, future scenario planning. What does the future look like in 2030 for downtown? If everything goes wrong, if everything stays what we think it should, or in their dreams, what should happen? Lots of work also in equity. Huge thanks to our friends at the Overture Center and the BID and Little John's for putting on the Martin Luther King Community Dinner, fantastic success, which had over 2,600 people. There's also work on neighborhood associations and bringing those groups together more than ever. Lots happening. There are also several huge conversations happening uh, all throughout the community right now, including what can happen with State Street in the future and discussion of a pedestrian mall. It's great to think about big things for downtown as we look to reimagine our center city. Also, strong conversations about the Lake Monona waterfront and the History Museum, an enormous gift again to downtown from the great Jerry Frouchy, $10 million to the new proposed site on East Washington Avenue. Lots of things happening downtown. Hope you can also join us for a few DMI events coming up in the next week or two. A week from Monday on the 22nd, we have our first virtual NASH at noon of the year. Great panel discussion about the future of transportation. And then following that week, two important community conversations. First, at our What's Up Downtown, virtual What's Up Downtown breakfast, 8 a.m. on Thursday the 25th with U.S. Senator Tammy Baldwin discuss uh, COVID relief, everything that's happening downtown and uh, everything's happening in downtown and everything that's happening in D.C., I should say. And then at two o'clock that same day on the 25th, a conversation with the new MPD Police Chief, Sean Barnes. Hope you can join us for all of these conversations in the next 10 days or so. Thank you all for your support of DMI and your support of downtown. Continue to shop local now more than ever. It's important. Hope you have a great rest of the day. Stay healthy and stay warm. Talk to you soon.